you know, we're, we're, we're coping with it. Take a look. These photos were taken at Hayburn State Park on the southern end of Lake Coeur d'Alene. And these packed parking lots weren't photographed during the summer. No, these pictures are from this week. We, you know, obviously we've seen a, a huge increase in our day use. With stay home orders limiting what people are allowed to do, people are flocking to Hayburn. Idaho State Parks are open, but camping at the parks is closed. Park staff are also encouraging social distancing for those who come here. We're pretty much the only thing available right now, and so people are definitely taking advantage of that. So much so that Hayburn saw 800 more cars visit the park last month compared to the same time last year. And they're not the only ones. We've seen an increase in visitation as other uh, outdoor recreation areas are not available. In Kootenai County, visitor numbers at Farragut State Park are up 40 percent compared to this time last year. With the influx of people looking to do just something for fun, staff have opened up additional day use areas and have socially distanced picnic tables. And contributing to the crowds, people coming from across the border. Last weekend, we were experiencing Probably 50 to 60 percent of our visitors were from Washington. Round Lake State Park in Bonner County is also busier than usual. They note that nice weather has played a role in bringing the crowds out, but it's not helping fishermen on this dock keep more than six feet apart. Um, some of the people hiking are hiking in larger groups than we'd like to see. So Now keep in mind, state parks in Washington are closed, and no surprise, Hayburn State Park says about half of their visitors are from Washington. This year, when our parking lots are full and people are parked alongside of the road, it's, a, it's something we're not used to. Again, hiking and bike trails are open here at the park. If you go, don't crowd others, but local officials are still encouraging you to stay home as much as possible. We really emphasize that uh, when people are recreating, they recreate locally. Staff admit that during these more than stressful coronavirus times, getting outdoors can be some of the best medicine there is. I mean, that's good for anybody's you know, mental well-being. Taylor Vido, Crim 2 News.